Welcome to Retro Sports Gamer Channel. I'm Tim Kitzer from NBA Jam and Mutant Football League, NFL Blitz, and a few other games. Boom shakalaka. Kaboom. What if I told you that she overcame a missed field goal, an overzealous pet detective, and a felony charge for kidnapping a dolphin? But the only thing she couldn't overcome was bigotry. Yeah, right finger was a good kicker. She did her job, but uh, you miss a kick like that at the Super Bowl and your career's over. We were sitting in the locker room after the game. I mean, how do you miss that kick? I knew she was still destined for greatness, though. She was born to be a trailblazer for civil rights. Ray was sobbing. He took it really hard, but I put my arm around him and I said, look, no matter how you choose to express your gender identity, I will support you. Of course I said that in 1984. Am I changing my story because trans people are accepted more now than they were before? Absolutely not. Okay? I've always felt this way. I mean, come on. Kidnapping a dolphin. That's not even a scandal in the NFL. Ben Roethlisberger, Ray Rice, Aaron Hernandez killed two people. Yes, I was a uh, first responder to the scene. You know, I couldn't believe what I saw. The first trans person to become an officer at a major metropolitan police department. I mean, Lois Einhorn didn't just break barriers in the gridiron. She was an American hero. The dolphin thing was actually kind of funny. Gender dysmorphia was poorly understood at this time, even among mental health professionals. Lois joined our center. It is there where she began her transition. My client has asked me to read this statement. I thought I was doing the right thing. At the time, I thought if only the world knew what she was going through, they'd understand, as I did. Einhorn is a man! I may have used a few incorrect pronouns, and for that, and only that, I apologize. Incorrect pronouns? That monster ripped off her clothes and outed her to the entire world. Yeah, at the time, a lot of people felt differently, but not, but not me. Not for one moment. <laughs> Ray Finkel's a tranny? <laughs> Figures, probably why I missed that field goal. What do you mean he kidnapped a dolphin? Guy was always a fat. My client has issued the following statement. You know, I was known to lead uh, seminars with the Miami PD uh, in regards to trans sensitive. You what? Oh, you have footage? My client would like to offer the following retraction. It was horrible the way they treated her. There's no Caitlyn Jenner without Lois Einhorn. There are no trans athletes in the Olympics without Lois Einhorn. She broke down barriers. My client has issued the following statement in response to several interviews in this documentary. Y'all can go fuck yourselves. Greetings, Tecmo Super Bowl fans. This is Trojan 1979 with the Darth Rockman. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Troy. Thanks for having me on. You sound pretty good. Looks like you got a new microphone there. Not just you know, we're not talking on the one dangling from your face. We've got a, we got we have a new. Microphone. It's one of these guys that, uh, well, you all paid for. And speaking of that, you all paid for this one too. So all of you guys that donated 
uh, to the cause. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Darth Rockman and, and several others are going to be coming to the color commentary role with better equipment. It's a work in progress, but uh, we're excited to just continue to step up the production level of what we do here. So this is our week one, round one, of the annual, our fifth annual online tournament, and the theme is Finkel and Einhorn. And one thing that has also changed from years past is that we are no longer GB land. We are now Full Nelson Tecmo. Uh, that's official. And if you see at the top right of the screen, we actually have a new logo. I'd like to thank uh, our friend Derek Rubel, a.k.a. Tecmo Psycho, a.k.a. Frozen Sith, uh, for uh, designing that for us. Uh, kind of inspired by our NHL 94 logo that we do with Edge of 94 Midwest. But, but a great job with that, uh, kind of getting the... The snow touches on there and the Tecmo players, so thank you for that. Um, we have a game in progress here between Ludio 1 and DKS that started recording just after the initial kickoff. Uh, looks like Ludio 1 has the first possession. What's different about this week, Finkel and Einhorn, the theme. Your QB1 has been kidnapped. If you remember, Ace Ventura, they kidnap Dan Marino, uh, and he has to come back in the second half. Well, uh, for this you have two QB2s on the roster. So QB1 was taken out for every team, and then all the kickers are replaced by Ray Finkel, who has 13 kicking ability. So he is absolutely atrocious. He's like Lansford in bad condition, just absolutely horrible. So it changes things for this matchup. So DKS is going to have two Andre Wares. Ludio one's going to have two Kaiser Wilhelms. Let's talk about this matchup and what can be expected. <laughs> okay, I guess that you're throwing it to me now. Um, you know, I don't know if it really affects the Lions that much because, you know, Ware versus Rodney Pete is not a huge difference. You get a little notch below in running speed and a, a notch in pass control of, there with uh, Andre Ware's being 38. So I don't, I don't know that it affects the Lions that much. With with the Bengals, I think it, it affects quite a, a lot. I don't, I don't have Wilhelm stats memorized per se maybe you got them in front of you but i know he's not as good as boomer siason so i, I think advantage goes to the lions here and uh I bengals can sure com compete because they got vulture and whatnot and uh you know they, they still have uh brooks and, and a couple of, of good receivers but you know slow but i think i think lions has a, a definite advantage in this game uh i absolutely agree with that a hundred percent so let's uh, – really the only thing that I would say would be of concern uh, is going to be the likes of uh, – and I'm just going to turn this up a little bit here, guys. Hope you can hear us a little bit better. Um, is that you still have the Fulcher popcorn effect. You don't have hitting power on the Lions. So defensively, um, that's even – if, even if you run in the direction of Fulcher, it's not really an issue – because he can just knock over whoever he touches. So and the Lions have no. I mean, they have their tight ends are just. They got nobody, you know. So they, their hitting power is definite weakness of the Lions. So I, I agree with you too. If Alter can have his way here, as far as the popcorn effect, if the D defense takes advantage of that. Now I don't know what Ludio is tapping these days. I know that DKS uh, can get upwards of sixteen. I think he's like a fourteen, fifteen guy most of the time. Um, so I, I, with you know, having a, an elite back in Barry Sanders, if he finds himself with some room, could be uh, could be trouble for Ludio. So, well, let's get this started. Week one, first game, Darth Rockman and Troj, nineteen seventy nine. Let's bring it to you. And we got a kickoff here. I like it. Let's kick this thing off right. Oh, wait a minute! It's kicked off already. Oh, what what what? Bottom bottom boom. If you're out in chat, say hello. By the way. All right, so first down and 10, Kaiser at the helm and run three is the call. James Brooks, a good running back in his own right. Nice run already to the 33, taken down first down. Ludio, that's a great way to start a drive. Oh, Colford, wrong guy in that play. He just got bounced right away, and Brooks got a nice first down on that play. Yeah, there's more than one guy on the Lions defense you can control, and now the run one, Brooks yeah, able to do work. Yeah, Colfer's the right guy to take in there. I think he rushed down a little too soon and got kicked again, so a little rough start for him. Wilhelm going down to stationary. James Brooks nicely done. And near the marker, I thought he had it, but it looks like second down to one. 
Spielman caught out of position on that one, a little too high in there for that bottom receiver. Maybe he was going for maybe what he thought was Boomer Esiason's great uh, 19 running speed, but Boomer Esiason's not in there, so you got to watch those receivers in coverage. Going to give you a little more game audio here to the fans Get at home. Microphone to Max, if you could. Right, just blow out their eardrums. <laughs> Brooks back to back with a run one, second down of four. Nice move by Kofor there, going up the middle, coming around the backside, and a tackle for a, a short gain. That was much better. Third time we've seen this, this drive, and Brooks is loose, zigging, zagging in the end zone. Touchdown, Ludio one. Uh, Kofor getting bounced on that one, too. So it's something he's, I don't know if he's maybe not too familiar with this playbook and trying to, you got to be real patient on those runs. So uh, we'll see how if he, if he, sometimes that first drive, you're a little rusty and you forget these things. I know I've been there, especially <laughs> with my last few games, I have felt uh, a bit rusty. So sometimes you, you forget that. You back into the second quarter or third quarter, you get a little bit better at it. So we'll see how Kofor does as this game goes on. We'll see if uh, he makes the adjustment. Uh, I know it's been a while. He took a little bit of a break uh, to DKS. But first down and 10, his opportunity. Uh, running the ball uh, and tapping are his advantages. So probably seeing a QB scramble here with Ware. And out of bounds, second and four. Looks like he uh, Ludio called a, a running play on that one. Everybody was open. So a nice quarterback sneak by Mr. Andre Ware. Nice juke there by DKS to get past Fulcher, and he gets the first down. Bengals thinking this one over. You know, you just if you got the time, you might as well take it and make sure you get the right play call in there. He's waiting for the play picker app to uh, give him the right call. Sometimes it pauses. You know, you <laughs> it's the it's the Ask Madden. <laughs> and uh, Ware just running, and he had some options there. I. Maybe you was thinking maybe underneath there would be a, a pretty safe throw, but uh, takes the four yards, second and six. Yeah, I had a guy up on top, but the Andre Ware, not a great angle throw kind of a guy. So good defense on that one. Yeah, just no blocking. Uh, Fulcher causing havoc already, third and seven. This is an interesting game for me because Andre Ware in another league is, is my quarterback, and I have been doing terrible with him. So hoping to see some success with Detroit and how I can perhaps uh, – Learn a point or two from Mr. DKS. It's interesting there, uh, you know, having the scrambling, but not. Uh, I, I think this DKS needs to take some time to let the the pass routes open up because he the, the, it's a terrible defensive line that's coming after him. Yeah, he's the exact ex opposite problem that I have. I tend to just throw the ball and look for some sort of a burn route with wear or. Something like that, that noodle arm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm learning here, like, maybe we could combine Darth Rockman and DKS. We could have, a, like, a great Andre War quarterback system. But, you know, he's just taking the what, what the defense is giving him, I guess, a little bit and, and, and getting his short yardage. But uh, there's probably some bigger plays out there. And, and maybe he's warming up here, too, a little bit. So one of his uh, wears went into good. And now he's got good Barry Sanders, who's now at 75 MS like Bo Jackson, 30. This is a house call, 15-10, and the game's about to be tied. DKS strikes. I was hoping for he had so much yardage there, so much Bo Jackson breakaway speed. I was hoping for some sort of a, a little juke before he went to the end zone, but it, you know we just didn't get it, so he's not giving much love to us. Fans it's Barry Sanders. He hands the ball to the ref, right? You're right. Yeah, I, I guess I was thinking it was DKS, you know, kind of at the helm here, but you're right. Barry Sanders would not. Uh, had done a little juke there. He would have given that ball to the ref. So I guess we're we're in true form here. And uh, in that, in the absence of excellence, uh, DKS kicks the onside kick as player two first down and ten for Ludio one with great field position near midfield. So I don't know if that was strategy or not. I mean, it's four four minutes left to go. You know, I probably just a mistake would be my guess. Second down and two. Good scramble there by. Who was it? Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Wilhelm, yes. Ah, he's getting sick of that run and calls it. Yes, it'll call that play on you, Wilhelm. Sehr gut. Run one? No, pass two. Oh, he's got the burner to Tim McGee. Look how 31 maximum speed. There's a 38. I don't remember. Probably 38, huh? There's a 31. 31 or 
it's it's, it's 31. Yeah, because who's the other guy? Uh, Brown, right? Eddie Eddie Brown? It's 38. It's slow. It's, I mean, it's <laughs> just like the receivers of Cincinnati drive me crazy. It's just, you know, you got a good quarterback with uh, the Bengals and just receivers that are just like, eh, Jeff Quarry with hands. Yeah, well, they got uh, Leroy Irvin, who was just dog shit up top. Kofer, yeah. just not trying to get behind the blockers there and uh, has no answer for run one, does DKS and Ludio on strikes, 13-7. to seven. Yeah, he still needs to adapt to that one. and not a, not a common playbook that you'll see very often, although this is something you you know, you know will see enough that you have to get good at. And Kofer is a great spot to, to have on that one. You just have to be real patient with with your run defense and that you, if you run too soon you'll run into a blocker if you go too late the, the running back is past the blockers and you're chasing them so it's a, it's a timing play on that defense 229 of Tecmo time remaining here in the second I know you love that oh it's good to be back <laughs> <laughs> I've missed this I really have it's been a long year yeah I don't, I don't know how when the last time we announced the game together or whatnot or or yeah, have you, but uh, it sure is fun to do. So Nice juke here by DKS, my goodness. As uh, Jack Trudeau would say, those thighs are glistening here in the night. It's first down and 10 for DKS. Oh, Jack Trudeau, yes. Really the highlight of Tundra Bowl, uh, Jack Trudeau on the mic. Yeah, uh, absolute highlight. And If Jack Trudeau is, is watching, we, we sure hope you can make an appearance sometime and some of these broadcasts here because it sure is entertaining. Look at this. And wow, Sanders going full. Wow, making people look silly. DKS, uh, this is going to be a strategy, I guess. Uh, just lean on good Barry Sanders. <laughs> Why not? I mean, it's, like you said, it's Bo Jackson. And, you know, that onside kick, uh, I was trying to think here how that that's paying off or how that's affecting this game here. Um you know, it, it's allowing for a few extra plays or, or drives on this second quarter here. Hey, it's Bo Jackson, but he could actually can catch. It's uh, Barry Sanders is a great tool. First down and 10 for Ludio. Time to answer here. I think that to give me another five yards or so. He's got the nice lofty throw from Wilhelm. And wow, got to get out of bounds, and here we go. I think you probably should have got it slightly sooner because if he gets a plate play picked here I think it's over yeah. not putting James Brooks going deep here I don't know if he's going to get this all the way down the field or not but no one's chasing him lots Got of time back there yeah he's, he definitely has to hold that ball for a while it looks like it's a good position here my goodness he's got the oh <laughs> well he had forever in a year to in, you know the offensive lineman held up Jerry Balsack didn't get after him um yeah but uh, welcome to halftime. We're all tied up here. Ludio 1 and DKS uh, doing battle. Looks like D DKS should get the ball to start the second half. I'm Trojan with Darth Rock, man. This is the first game here of Finkel and Einhorn. we got two backup quarterbacks in on every roster, and Ray Finkel is the kicker. And here comes Mel Gray. He was in bad condition in the second quarter. Yeah, I think this first half here has been uh, really the story of the rushing attack. Um Detroit having difficulty stopping the run. Of oh, Brooks. Dick Dick and excellent. Ooh, that's very nice. <laughs> and uh, the same with Barry Sanders going in good. Bo Jackson running over here. So I, I would expect to see a little bit of the same, uh, assuming, you know, maybe War Ware, Andre Ware wants to throw it to Johnson now. Maybe they'll uh, want him to or encourage him to throw the ball a little bit. But uh, that also can cause problems if you're throwing against Fulcher. So now, uh, the one thing. Smart. Johnson being a slower target. Uh, I mean, when you're rushing like that, it makes it easy. This is funny. He only hoped to contain Richard Johnson to the 42-yard <laughs> line. Um, DKS, yeah, he, I don't, go ahead. I don't know why Falter went in. I mean, maybe he thought he was probably trying to stop the quarterback sneak, of course, but he didn't pass the line yet and just rushed too soon. Oh, we got a fumble. So Ware did go back into average, and the other Ware isn't bad. Uh, so fumble, Ludio one now takes over, and I just wonder if this is what it's going to take here. Now Ludio one in the driver's seat. They haven't stopped either one or the other. DKS may very well need a turnover 
uh, of his own to get back in this if if he's playing catch up on the scores. So uh, scramble there. Uh, Ludio one just doing every everything he wants um, when he wants right now. There's little resistance. Yeah, and that play, he, he keeps taking Kofer, a little bit of defense on that one with Kofer, but I think White is the guy to potentially take when you got that formation here. So, it's, you know, that's something that as he watches this back, if he does, uh, you know, White is definitely a, a great secondary guy you can take. He's got good interceptions, good decent speed, and you're, you're not stuck at that linebacker one position. So... To see how he's he's defending this. It's, it's so hard. You got everyone coming at you here. So he's not he's not controlling Haddix or, or Deion Sanders up there. This is this is Kofer. Right. Yeah. And Kofer's a great nickel guy. He's got great speed, um, but he's he's not the best in some of these run plays. So. Yeah. And right now, oh no, we have a. All right, we need more need more donations. More donations. Sorry about that. Uh, we need a bigger stand. Not the trash. Donations. Donations. <laughs> Must be the brandy. Speaking of which. Oh man, I, you know I'm. It's so late that when we recorded this, I'm I'm just on the agua tonight. Uh, I have a game tomorrow to call for local high school, so hopefully, uh, voice holds up. So, um, Finkel with the kickoff, and Mel Gray with the return. So Ludio won up a touchdown here in the third. Uh, DKS just needs to get down the field and score as soon as he can. Hopefully, get a stop and come back the other way. I feel like we're going to see Andre Ware, Sanders, and Johnson. Uh, that's if anyone else will get the ball this whole drive. <laughs> Maybe Fulcher will get it. <laughs> okay, wide receiver one. Oh, <laughs> he wanted to. He goes he over to go. the line. He, yeah, he wanted it, but I guess the rules come first. All right, Sanders, the run, and... Uh, Gets out of bounds prematurely. Yeah, you could tell that he called a run on that one. Only had one lead blocker on that run three. But still got a first down with that. Heard you can take a pill for that. <laughs> oh, this, oh is, this wow. is terrible. No. Why, 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 why? You got to throw it on top there. He's just wide open. Well, it's third down and one. To take the first down. One tap and B. One tap and B. It's the same play. Let's just run. This time. Ah, okay, this time he just took the first down, which is fine. I don't, I don't, can't blame him for that one because how many times have you thrown uh, with a bad quarterback and they just drop the ball on you? So takes what he can get him there with the first down. Has he I called think. anything but pass two and run three? Uh, I'm gonna say yes, but I can't say. I... <laughs> oh, he he did call a uh, a run four at one point and it just got crushed. Look at this. It's, it's just back to it. It's the same. I think at some point you got to just don't throw it to Johnson. Oh, he did. Oh, he probably overran it. Don't do it. Yep, he overran oh, it. Oh, you still got it. I talked about oh, this yeah. earlier. Okay. When, when you have these speedsters and then you got the slow guys with hands underneath, there's that sweet yeah. timing, and uh, it it stinks if you can't get pressure, and you're not going to get defensive line pressure most of the time with this team just because it's terrible up front. I just uh, you have such an open guy short, you know, and you're still going to get probably 20 yards out of that play to, you know, throw it into Fulcher's territory with knowing that he can JJ pick you. Um, it was a pretty gutsy play there. It worked out for him, you know, like maybe he was pretty confident in the slowness of uh, Dick Dick there or uh, Johnson. But, uh, boy. I he tried to go full that. Bernie Sanders and gave it away to him two plays earlier, so I don't know. Um yeah. I mean, well, regardless, he made a very close game here, and I'm loving it. So, ba da ba ba ba. Loving it, try. <laughs> Love every minute of it. So we got run four. That time it collapses. Jerry Balsack doing his job. Second down and nine. I'm guessing that was also a called run because that middle will collapse when you call. If you call run three on that play, that's that goes to hell. Yeah, closes up that middle nice, and you can just kind of bounce it on the outsides. Or stuff the middle, <laughs> just like it did there. Boom, you're good. So Leroy Irvin getting beat like a mule, and now we got open wide open. receiver too. Can he get wide the ball to him? Open. Wilhelm throwing dimes. Wilhelm to the 17 and a first down. Great strike by Ludio one. Yeah, 
I think these guys are their weakness might be a little bit of their defensive strategy. I'm thinking that this is something that uh, you know, letting some guys go a little bit of run defensive, um, you know. And so I, I talk big because I'm not playing and <laughs> not making. Oh, we're we're elite players. When whenever whenever we're not playing, we're elite and we know everything, right? Come on. It's great to be, uh, you know, what is today a Thursday night quarterback? We'll call it. <laughs> All right, I would pick never play. Make these mistakes. Oh, there's a hot route there. Oh boy. Does not want to go. We do here. not want to do laces gotta, out, Dan. Laces out. You gotta kick the field goal here. Come on. Unbelievable. How much techmo time do we have? Two minutes, thirty-eight seconds. <laughs> he goes to go oh, for again. I know we're yelling at him, and this happened in the past, but he does get a stop this time. Oh, first down for DKS. Yeah, I just I just feel like you got to kick a field goal there and make him go the length of the field after you kick off, too. If you make the field goal, you kick all that time, and it just you probably got a minute and change, you know, to let him go down the field. So, and you got Fulcher to try and stop him. Now, granted, Sanders is hard to stop, but, you know, if at least you stop him to a field goal, you're going into overtime minimum, so... Um, now, now he's got to stop him all the way here. Hope for a turnover. Fulcher on defense. We got a pick play. This is run two, and so that's like the fourth unique play I picked in this game by the Lions. I don't know if I call a timeout here. To be honest with you, I feel like you just try and see what happens here. You know, like if you get down to third and long, okay, call a timeout. Robert Clark with the redirect there looks like uh, okay, just a little bit of room with the redirect. Third down three. Reminds me of the NFL, you know, where they'll try and take a timeout, you know, when it's it's on this side of the ball and it ends up screwing you later on. Oh, it just it pains me that it doesn't throw a wide receiver one there. Well, uh, when, when you have a scrambling QB, I don't know. I, th I think we talked about this before. You know, it's, all he needs to get is three, right? Yeah. And... Francis can block a kick, but wow, Sanders! Oh, he puts the oh. ball on the ground. Oh, picked up by Lodi. Oh, Tim Crum, ride, broken leg at all. First down. Oh man, crazy! Ah, oh, the old fumble bug. And there's the run to Brooks. Oh, there's some good D there. I like that. Taken to the backside. Engaging, out tapping. And this is the play I don't like <laughs> if it's a run. And it is. Look at, just look at all those drones just chasing them. Just getting harassed. Yeah. Boy, if, it, only if you had a strong safety that was fast here. <laughs> I, I think he's uh, – DKS to a fault wants to use a linebacker as a nickel. As a nickel, even with a 13 MS uh, quarterback. So – yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, Kofor's a great player. It's just that this is – I am not good at defending that play myself. It's oh, look at Brooks go. So ah, fumble! Oh, and this one, Ludio doesn't have to worry about. It's uh, turning to butterball season here. First down and goal from the eight for Ludio one. Uh, why? why? And, uh, I think he's trying to run the clock out so that in case he does miss. No, this is this is dangerous. Oh, hey, oh my God. you got to be kidding <laughs> Finkel can kick from there, guys. It's not It's not like he's got a 20-yard range. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, you got it. I mean, oh, and now DKS gets the ball, too. It's Come on, Ludio. Field goal, practically. You know, I saw oh. Colford that could run in there, but you got to kick that field goal. Oh. Well, this is a good time to plug uh, Ludio's tournament, uh, the, the uh, Bruce City Bowl, I believe it's called. Uh, in Milwaukee, so uh, that should happen, uh, I think, this October. And uh, he's all over Facebook, social media, all that stuff. Uh, I'm sure he'll be posting in uh, World Technical Association some stuff, too, when that all those details come down. But wow. I think he'll be d doing that this year. So, um, yeah, he's a great guy. He came to uh, Full Nelson and the Shield Tournament where the debut of JFT came out. That's Jack Trudeau. Uh, but back to this one, DKS uh, looking at third and three here. Ludio is the carcade guy, isn't he? Yes, yes. Uh, cool stuff. Yeah. Got got the full tour after Full Nelson on that. Um, 
basically a party wherever he goes. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. I just love that he's part of the community here. And um, I can't say he's an expert at Tecmo, but he sure loves Tecmo. And I'm glad to see him on the tournament and running the, the Milwaukee City Brew or whatever it is called. Um, Brew, Brew, Brew City Bowl, I think. Brew City, Brew Bowl. City Bowl. Yeah. I, I live so close to that, and I've never been able to attend because it's always in October during my hunting season. But I'm hoping, depending on this weekend, I can make it. So. Oh, going up to Johnson! Oh, I, know. I uh, thought we were looking at Pick City for sure. Oh, it sure looked like it could have been a JJ pick. Oh, man. I don't even know who's going to win this game. I have no idea. <laughs> I forgot. Ah. Oh, do you actually know the winner? Well, I, 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 at some point, either myself or Nostradamus reports the score. A nice run by Sanders here, getting close to field goal range, staying in bounds, dangerous. And uh, you always remember, engage Fulcher so the blockers can block someone else because they're just going to knock right off of him. All right, so where? Still not going for the wide receiver one target, second of five. Yeah, I think the Fulcher was kind of hanging around there, so that might have been a great decision with the Fulcher's speed. I think he might have been able to... You shut your dirty whore mouth! <laughs> that's like, that's like double, <laughs> double item. Oh, you should throw it there. That's a fifth play. It's a fifth play he's called now. I'm just devil's advocate, Troy. Whatever you say, I'm just going to say, well, The devil. <laughs> oh! Oh, look at where go. If Portis game's over, I'd like them see, to see him one time. <laughs> just, one, just one time. Just one time. If he throws yeah, a pick on this. One time. Just, oh, he called, he, he's, trying, he, he's trying to hit all the plays. That's not a requirement. You don't have to hit all eight plays in a game. It's okay. That's a great play not to call, though, against Fulcher. Because <laughs> unless you can juke Fulcher, you can potentially, you know, Fulcher is so fast, you can sometimes just, his speed can, you know. Oh. Well, look at these called plays here. Well, it's Finkel time. Well, this, he can, he can, he can hit goal. it, but it's going to be uh, rough. It's going to be fast. You can still do it, though. Come on now. you got to try it. Okay, so I think that they're definitely, both of them, I think, are pausing the fact that their kicker is not very good and they're second-guessing themselves. It's based, Yeah, I mean, it's it's the arrow's going to move really fast. Um, you're not going to have a ton of time, a couple cycles probably, and then it's gotta, you got to lock it in. Does not feel comfortable with the play. You're in no man's land here for sure, as far as uh, the play is called. But well, if you don't think you can get the field goal, and you're, you're playing, oh boy. And uh, Johnson got in front of the defenders. If he was a little bit slower, that might have looked differently. But uh, first down and ten now for Ludio one. Well, like I said, we just don't know who's going to win this game. So he's about twenty yards himself from perhaps kicking his own field goal. And Kofer not doing anything different. If I mentioned, like, the strong safety would be good to take there. <laughs> <laughs> so, for all, all of you newer guys out there, maybe your less experienced players, basically, if you have a run gumming into a certain direction, you ideally want to take a defender that's on the opposite side of the field because they don't tend to get blocked as much. The blocking goes down towards the direction of the run. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. safety is in the opposite end or the way to go. Yeah, if they're looping around on that, that run three or even that the run and shoot run one with Kofor, those are just – you get – Uh-oh. Devil. Against, uh, the one, so. we, we, we have a little internet. I don't know if you can hear me, Troy, but I'm just glad somebody won this game. And uh, <laughs> I can't hear you at all. But, uh, yeah, this was this was a fun one back and forth. And, and uh, you know, uh, a couple of things here that uh, we enjoyed watching. And, and, and something I can learn from these guys from DKS is to uh, quarterback sneak with Andre Ware. <laughs> so thank you for that lesson. And, uh, again, I can't hear a word you're saying. I see the little, the little volume going here, so perhaps you can see me. <laughs> I see you making noises and whatnot. Um, but this is this is definitely fun and a great kickoff game. 
in a, a close game here into overtime. <laughs> what else could you really ask for? So thank you for doing this and for the, uh, the microphone here. And I, I guess I'll turn it back to you for some closing comments, if you can hear me. Broncos, because of Brian Greasy, he's the number one rated quarterback, and there's a good reason why. I talked to my man Terrell Buckley last week in Miami. He was on a bye week, by the way, playing golf. He told me that defense is blocked. Uh, <laughs> hey, everyone. Trojan 1979. We've got another game here for you. This is the week one Finkel and Einhorn theme. I got Nostradamus with me. Say hello to the fans. Hey, everybody. What's up, Trojan? Thanks for having me. It's great having you on. I think, um, well, it was, uh, did you get in the mic at all over at Thunder Bowl? I did not. I was uh, apparently busy doing other things. I uh, may be uh, uh, trying to reconstitute uh, the USSR possibly. Uh, I'm not <laughs> unsure. Um, uh, but but that, that was an entertaining uh, weekend for sure. But moving on to things online Tecmo, I've got a match between uh, Bide and Squam Greens in with this theme, the QB1 has been kidnapped on every team, so every team has two quarterback twos, uh, and they can play conditions between each other, and then everyone has Ray Finkel. So that's the modification for this week. And that changes the Buffalo Bills and Chicago Bears. Normally a matchup you probably wouldn't see called very often, um, unless you were in, in a very long tournament where you needed a lot of matchups. So um, not having QB Bills is going to certainly shake this one up. Races out. Laces out indeed. So let's get right into the matchup. So for those who don't know, Bide is my son, and he started playing a few months ago, and he's been getting into it, which has been really fun to see. We started GoFundMe so that we can have him win with a real Tecmo player, <laughs> and we can move him to Green Bay. <laughs> Fair enough. I should talk. I went one and three. So Ray Finkel has 13 kicking ability on every team. So he's like a bad Lansford, and that's going to be a liability for the players. And here we go. Squam Green's kicking off to Jamie Mueller. And first down and 10 for him. Looks like we got the pro set playbook. Uh, there's no other gameplay modifications, no lurching, no running with wide receivers. Uh, so the lurching is restricted to the defensive line, but if you have a linebacker, you can dive right in. Singletary on defense, and here's run one to Thurman Thomas. Thomas taken down, second down and eight. Not a whole lot of room there. The Terminator. Pro set formation. Thomas taken down, third down and seven. Uh, looks like uh, the fridge got in there. So Nostradamus, normally well, that's when you say things. <laughs> Still drinking a coffee, waking up here. Thomas on the run three. Here he goes, 30, 35, 40, 45, zigging, zagging, 50. Bypass the 50 and taken down at the 48-yard line. First down, nice run by him. Must be good genetics. Bide working on his taps. He hit 15 in the game this morning. Maybe some genes at work there. Ladies. <laughs> Check out my taps, ladies. And the run to 41 yard line. Uh, you're going to see probably a heavy dose of Thomas with uh, Frank Reich being very susceptible to the jump pick. The ladies at the watering hole love the taps. Ladies. First down and 10 right up the middle with Thomas. 228 technical time here. And Bide looking good on his first possession so far. So uh, how, when did Bide start playing Tecmo? About two, two to three months ago. I uh, started uh, playing around with it and it didn't really catch on. But then he saw Jay Brooks play a game uh, in Thunderdome, and that kind of inspired him. And so he's been full hog uh, all in since then. So it's been fun. You've seen the importance of the QB scramble. That's an important tool to have in your playbook. And gets a first down with Reich, and now we've got to run four. Trying to buy some time. It looks like the Bears are breaking free. He does get two yards out of it, second and eight. 
and what's his favorite team to play with? Well, he's still learning. He likes uh, quarterbacks that can throw the ball, so this is a, a new matchup for him. He has QB Bills and HSTLG. Who needs a quarterback when you got a run like that? Thurman Thomas getting it done, and Bai takes the early lead 6 0. Would love if uh, Bide was available for any side commentary, bedhead, and all. You know, at, at uh, 10 19 a.m., I'd expect that uh, uh, he's probably still in his bed. Uh, he's, he's an early riser, actually. His brother, not so much, but I can uh, pull him down here at any point. We'll do a post game interview. The, fan, the fans want to know. So Squam Green's here, and of course he has the burden of being the guy that's playing the kids, so he's the jerk if he wins, and if he loses, uh, you just lost to a kid, so it, you'll never get past that until he uh, turns 18. And it's a lose-lose situation. Bide is 12, he turns 13 in three weeks. My son's played at a few tournaments, but... Uh, I'll buy, buy down Super Troll mode here. So he's still not quite familiar with figuring out defenders. Uh, I do offer him help on, on who to pick on defense sometimes so he learns the players. I don't tell him what plays to pick, though. Squam Green's trying to go to Ron Morris up top there. Uh, not a lot of speed on the receiving side of things. Looks like he's got both. He's got, I'm going to guess he's going to have Bailey in the pattern here because Anderson and Muster are op occupying a run one and run two, or excuse me, RB1 or RB2. If I did rub my crystal ball for him, that would uh, be unfair for the game and sacrilegious for Nostradamus. <laughs> well, Nostradamus' legacy has to continue in some form. Here's Anderson on cold play, and no matter, Squam Green's getting a, a great gain out of it. First down and 10 for him off the top hash mark and uh, moving the chains early. So if you're out there in fan land, um, if you're to see this matchup, who would you choose? Why would you choose it? Let us know. Offset eye formation, top hash mark. Tom Zach. It looks like Nate Odom's on defense. Not a terrible, especially against these quarterbacks. You can definitely get an interception out there. And uh, Tom Zach with a scramble. Squam Green's learning out of time here. Does call before the first quarter expires. Second down and three. From the bottom hash mark, again, offset eye formation. This might be the longest game in history. Odom's across the formation. And for those fans at home, if you have the ability to get behind the blockers on that run one, uh, that's an opportunity if you can out-tap your opponent to get, minimize that gain. Uh, usually the DB3 or the DB1, you can get behind those blockers. First down and 10 here for Squam Greens. Anderson right up the middle, eight yards, second down and two. So is he is he doing the same technique of sliding as that you're doing with the forefinger, or is he going with a traditional slide tap or just just point and tap? So he he likes the dog bone. He's going uh, two fingers on the dog bone, but not 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 the claw. Sammy Smith style actually. Sammy Smith has transitioned to the dog bone as well. Limited resource, but uh, great tool. And now Ron Morris wide open, so rushing in. Was Bide, looks like Morris able to break free from that tackle and get the touchdown, so the Bear is responding. So we took a chance there with uh, Tom Zach and his pass control, and it didn't pay off. And on fourth down, that's probably a more reasonable risk there, but that's something that he'll learn as he plays more and more in Tecmo. And uh, by the way, so to all you dads out there that are watching, if you have youngsters in your house, male or female, and they want to do what daddy does, but they don't think that anyone else plays Tecmo, show them this game right now. Show them that the new generation can, in fact, play this game and pick it up quickly. Playing in a tournament, and it's being featured on the Retro Sports Gamer channel, which has thousands of subscribers. So, And now we have Reed to the 35, so just... Chucking it up. Risky play with Frank Ray. Could understand that with QB Bills. The pitch is lost for yard after a called play second down and 11 for Bide. 
plenty of time here, 325 remaining. If he goes methodical, if he can move the ball, no need to rush this here. He just needs to move the chains. Singletary on defense. Run one is the call. Isolation opportunity. Squam Greens does not get out juked. Gets the help. Third down and four. Important to move the chains here for Bide. Frank, third Reich. In normal technical, you just don't see him in games unless you're playing in some sort of draft league. And nice defense there by Squam Greens. And now fourth down and five. Decision time for Bide. Yeah, we're debating options here. You know, the, the hard part about here is that you're so close... Uh, you know, to a situation where you're going to kick it in the end zone, so you don't gain a ton of field position. But you're even with Ray Finkel on the other side, you're still giving up a potential three here because you're not going to get tremendous pressure with Tally. He'll get in there, but not that arrow will be off before that. So fourth down and five here. Um, what is Bide going to do? I don't. Is he, is he asking the crystal ball at this time? I don't know what he was doing at this point. I don't remember, but apparently he chose the wise decision. Yeah, the against this defense, there's no guarantee is that's for sure. Exactly, especially with Frank Wright. Rick Rootin' tootin' on the punt. And here comes Brad Muster. Nope, into the end zone. Touchback. Colonel Muster in the end zone with the lead pipe. I get it. That's a clue reference. <laughs> for all you youngsters out there. As we know, we have all those uh, millennials watching the stream right now. That's right. They can't get enough of it. And this me, you know, once he learns, uh, normally in Tecmo, unless you're testing out your controller or whatever, you normally don't cause that much delay in between plays because guys will start to get irritated. But uh, uh, he's brand new, so, you know, he's just kind of figuring out what, what I want to do. He's thinking. And what this does for you brand new players you can't hike the ball until the defensive player has not pressed a button for a, a, a brief moment. Going with Cornelius Bennett, the right decision here as he goes across formation isolation. Oh, he missed the engagement there. So good juke. Anderson, of course, has great um, running speed. So he is able to, he's one of the best jukers in the game, if not the best. Swivel hips, we like to call it in the industry. Give me Sammy Smith, I'll get that reference. LVP have swivel hips. <laughs> Only in off football hours. First down. <laughs> First down 10 on the run there for Squam Greens. We got a pro set formation. Bennett on defense. Pass two is the call. Tom Zach. With muster behind him decides to run away. And Your he's gonna be there. He's gonna be <laughs> right. <laughs> Cole High School football last night, a lot of that going on. Second down and one. The opposing team had a, t had a quarterback about the size of Ben Roethlisberger and about the same weight against all those boys was uh, was not a good thing. Anderson with the sweep out of bounds and a pretty easy first down to convert there. 47 seconds now. Time sort of becoming an issue if you're going to take a shot um, or you know you, you can't just mess around. you got to get gains here. Speaking of announcing, I see you're throwing your hat into the ring for the Notre Dame PA. I think you got the, the voice for it. I'm all behind you. Oh, thank you. I, you know, I'll tell you what, that uh, Mike Golick uh, Jr. Uh, is probably going to be a, a tech, tech, son of Sekmo namesake by uh, Mike Golick from the, the Eagles. Uh, is a QB snack a sector by uh, Bides Drone. Uh, second down to 17. That is a, an opportunity that... You know, we'll we'll see. I, if I even got a call back, that would be tremendous. But it was fun to do the audition. Ray Bentley with the drone sack and now moving the wrong way is Squam Greens, and uh, time, letting time tick down. I'm guessing he's going to do one back and be here and see what happens. Ray rolling in the Bentley. Bottom hash mark. Offset eye. Tally on defense. You got one target. 
at the bottom of the field here. You got to go up probably to Bailey. Or he's going to Wendell Davis. Interesting. Does he even have Bailey? Ooh, he's got a reception and a juke and taken down inside the five. So he had a chance there, but just couldn't get past. And so if you had Bailey, I think you had enough speed there to uh, get in the end zone. So I'm not really sure how he's playing into this, but we haven't seen his name yet. Squam Greens might be going with the default roster right now. Nice job by Bide there, not losing speed on the uh, cuts. That's really hard to do online, too. It's very easy to lose your speed. So we're all tied up here after halftime into the third quarter, and Squam Greens with the early return. First down and 10, not a whole lot there. In fact, this might actually be the default Bears playbook. I look like Bailey. Wait, he heard me talking. <laughs> but did he put Anderson on the bench? I'm not sure what's happening here. So everyone, Anderson on the Bears is your best receiver, even though he's a running back. Yeah, if you're going to run Bailey, you got to at least put Anderson at uh, wide receiver. Thomas. Big play there, second down and 11. So one thing that we try to do here, we don't want to pick on any players if they don't have a, a great um, – deep knowledge, book knowledge of the game. This is where you learn. That's why we do these streams. We want to entertain you, but we also want to educate you if you're um, still learning. So there are a lot of new players every year in the Tech Mall that discover it either through second generation like your son Bide here, or you have players that are coming back to the game and you know they never really left their living room or their friend's living room when they played it. And they realize there's this whole community and the game is quite in-depth. Uh, which is surprising to a lot because it's played with two buttons on a console that's 35 plus years old. So here we go. Pro set formation, top hash mark. Mark Kelso on defense, running behind the defenders. Help him out a little bit, but not before he gets the first down. The blockers were all over Kelso there. So, kids, if you're running, if you see the pro set formation there and you want to defend the run, you want to try to take the defender furthest away. That's usually the either the linebacker or the defensive back furthest away from the play. Mark Kelso wore a padded helmet back in the day. It was like twice the size of a normal one. Uh, people mocked him, but he was probably one of the few smart ones without CTE nowadays. Uh, speaking of bears and, and all that stuff, I just learned that Mongo has um, advanced ALS. And uh, he's not doing well. That's very unfortunate. I hate to see it. So we like to make fun of today's NFL and say that it's too um, ticky-tack, but there's a reason why they've done so much of that because so many of our heroes from the era are starting to, if they hadn't already, um, have experienced terrible symptoms from playing the game so it's fun to um tie this down and, and have a little fun with you know people getting messed up in tecmo or a wrecked or whatever but these are real life humans that that uh were gladiators for us in our youth so godspeed to mongo and that's a completion of johnny bailey who's also um he's actually r.i.p um first down in 10 and do we have uh bide in the we got bide here you want to say hello Hi. recording your game What's going on, Bide? So he's he is he's gotta get to your left shoulder, I think. Opposing shoulder. Wait, oh, this one? Yeah, yeah, now now you're in frame. Yep. So he's all he's all cozy in a blanket here, but uh doing doing good work. Mark Kelso. Oh, he's knocked down, but Bailey gets some help from the drone second down and seven. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's by everyone. Apparently, a quick appearance. You, you know what? Oh, it was it was an benefit. unpaid appearance. That was the problem. We needed <laughs> yeah, to. Um, that's right. Got to incentivize these kids on appearances. Saturday morning recording here. 
but it's just great to see the next generation playing Tecmo. Kirby Jackson with the drone sack, third down in 11, Squam Greens. With a tall task in front of him here, we'll see if he goes with a run to Bailey or tries to maybe go over the top. I mean, it looks like he's going to have a run here. Is that a sack by Kirby Jackson? Yeah. Nice. The rare Kirby Jackson sack. Not to be confused with Michael Jackson, also known for sacking young men. Oh. I'm so glad he's not wearing the earphones anymore. <laughs> Johnny Bailey. And really nothing doing there. Now again, Squam Green's in no man's land. Fourth down and seven. Why might, might we see a run one here? Yeah, this is a big, big play call. And I don't know what it is uh, with, with this particular game, but it feels like this is the longest Tecmo game in history. This is a very long game. Bide's still figuring out his defenders, lots of cycling. But hey, who doesn't enjoy hearing uh, Nostradamus and Trojan on the mic? Uh, I tell you like what, it's, it's I, 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 I'm, I'm enthralled. <laughs> Tom Zach. Shane Conlon on defense. No, he makes the change. Oh. Still debating. Oh, he cycled all the way around. Going for Robocop. Robocop with the reception. Look at him go. Drop it. Play on fourth down. Thank you for your cooperation. Touchdown. Squam wow. Green's up fourth down with the slowest guy in the field. Big change in momentum there. Oh. Huge, huge play there for Squam Greens. Spider-Man Tally used to wear that uh, Spider-Man Under Armour. Well, it's probably pre-Under Armour days, but you know what I mean, compression sleeves. Jimmy Mueller here on the return as time is ticking away here. Welcome to the fourth quarter. Wow, Brayden's working this morning. Pickle going down there looking for a tackle. Is that a gun, Dan? <laughs> we haven't had any laces out moments or laces in moments so far. We haven't seen uh, Ray Finkel do anything other than kick an extra point. What do you know about pressure? But I have kissed a man before. Yes. <laughs> Those can be done with a surgery in a weekend. And it's back in B time already. I think it might be pretty premature, but he wants Andre Reed. Going for it. Why not? He's got him! And he gets it. I just need one play. That's it, Dad. Just one play. Right by the defender. Is that Wolfer down there? So, I mean, everyone in chat, when, when you found out that you could do that, did you not do an entire season with your favorite team, send your fastest receiver down, and try to get... 3,000 yards in half a season. Absolutely. I would take the kickoff and run back to the one and run out of bounds and throw bombs for an entire season. I think we all did. And I think that uh, there lies a lot of the magic of Tecmo, where you have, no matter what, you have a chance, if you have enough time for your receiver to run down the field and throw it up and see what happens because of the 100-yard throws, um, if you're within one score. And that is... Uh, it's the best and worst thing about Tecmo, but you're always in the game. You don't have to worry about driving at 80 yards like in Madden or something like that. So um, kind of a neat play there for Bide. We have a tied game here and uh, condition check time. So the condition checker is permitted in this tournament for the first time. Uh, so we are, are permitting that. Um, we don't have those stats up for you right now. We're still using our traditional layout, but the players themselves are allowed to use it. Interesting. Was Muster actually taken out? for that met, that big play. Interesting lineup moves here. Muster, uh, 56 receptions guy, a guy that you definitely want on the field for receiving. Anderson with a run. Muster on the edge, holding up their... Uh, Cornelius Bennett in a first down run for Anderson. So all the speed is now in the backfield for the Bears.
Front two is the call to bail. Here's a tap, and good for a yard, second and nine. And that's a play that, if your offensive line holds up, you're trying to potentially get just one or two yards, or you're hoping that the other guy dances around and runs in one of his own guys, falls down, and then you make a play out of it. Now, if you're going back to the same play, there's also a pass four in this formation. It is the run two. And this time, the oh, nice block in the back there. Uh, freed him up for a moment, but he actually loses two yards, does Squam Green's third down 11. Fortunate dive tackle there by Bide. So risky as a tapper, out. is this a play that you've utilized to success? Uh, yeah. yeah I, I like this playbook um, with the Bears. Then you have the best default playbook in the game. So I played Hoff in HSTL this morning, and he didn't have to change his roster or his playbook at all. So he may have the ROM design. You can modify the default plays in a in a ROM, which is actually something I've done in Heroes for a number of people have asked. Um, so those of you who don't know about uh, Techno Heroes is a league that uh, I run, and it has a superhero feeling where you have a lot of st uh, you have a few studs and a lot of duds on your teams. And uh, there are guys that get released every year into a draft. It's a dynasty league, so um, that's a uh, that's a lot of fun. Check that out if you're. Uh, well, there's going to be some openings upcoming here, so a little plug for that. But back to this game, Prosit formation. Tom Zach, and uh, doesn't get rid of it. Gets sacked. Kirby Jackson with an up. The wow, the game of his life. Kirby, Kirby Jackson <laughs> sucking it all up there. Future Kirby Jackson comments for the viewers' sake. I was gonna say he's gonna Big go door to door and sell you his uh, talents. <laughs> I was that, that was the line that I was was going with. That was good. That was good as well. Anderson with a called play. So that reminds me of this. Uh, story I heard where the Kirby salesman comes in and knocks on the door and the woman says no I, I, I can't I can't have you demonstrate this right now and the Kirby salesman says no 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 we'll I'll dump this on the floor and I guarantee if we can't suck this up and clean this up I'll, I'll clean it with tweezers she says no no I know you can't do that you can't absolutely bite with tweezers watch this thing go into play and she says fine he throws the dirt on the floor and then he plugs it in and it won't turn on. There's no electricity. So he got to uh, pick it up with the tweezers. Wow. <laughs> Good story for this long play call sequence. I, I kind of thought that we might need that. <laughs> Here we go, well. Shane Collin. And I probably didn't tell it very well, but here comes Morris. Oh, over his... We saw that attempt before. You need a little more speed up top usually for that cross field pass to work and probably a better quarterback, fourth down and 12. Yeah, the blitz pays off here. Big play call coming up. And, and just hindsight here, but not even getting five yards. If you had five yards, Ray Finkel can make an attempt. Um, yeah. But now it's it's very dicey. Yep, chose not to go with Finkel here. Very risky. But we'll see what happens. Fourth down here in hour 12 of this broadcast. And there goes Anderson breaks free. 20. 10. Loses the taps. Does. Bide and Anderson to the house. Touchdown. Yeah, Bide's still working on consistency with the taps. Sometimes high, sometimes low. And, and I got to say, man, we were we were rooting for Bide there. It's going to be a tall task here. I don't know if he's going to have time to get out of bounds. Two fourth down huge conversions by Squam Greens. And uh, without those, this game looks a lot different. Yep, looking like Squam Greens will end up the jerk that beats the kid. <laughs> Very good game. Well, it looks like uh, Kirby, don't call me whoever his efforts weren't enough. Um, Frank Reich with 100% completion percentage, though, so that's good. Um, Andre Reed with. Uh, uh, two two receptions there. That really that one was that that big long one there. That uh, hey hey oh uh, that long reception for uh, the touchdown uh, yep. right after the responding there. But to the Robocop touchdown. But the Bears man just just too much today for for Bide and uh, Squam Greens gets the win.
Yeah, great play call by Squam on the fourth and twelve there. Risky, but it paid off. Absolutely. Well, we're gonna with no out hesitation get into the next game. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Nostradamus, for uh calling it with me. And you guys stay tuned. Greetings, Techno Super Bowl fans. We're back. Trojan with Thule. First broadcast of the season. How's it going? It's going real good, Troy. How are you? It's fantastic. Hello, Tecmo. Hello, Tecmo, indeed. Hey, fifth annual tournament. tuli has been here every step of the way with the broadcast, getting back to the first year that we did this. So thank you for sticking around with us. Uh, got himself uh, a new microphone since last year, so rocking and rolling. We both have Samson mics. Hopefully we sound uh, good to you guys. And we have uh, round one, Finkel and Einhorn. So quarterback one on each team has been kidnapped. And uh, unlike the the lore of Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, uh, QB1 will not be returning in the second half. And Ray Finkel is the kicker for every kicker, uh, excuse me, for every team in the game. And uh, I, a very common matchup here because they have quality options at the backup position uh, relative to each other. So you have uh, the Denver Broncos and the San Diego Chargers. So no Elway and no rocket armed BJ Tolliver. What, uh, how does this affect this matchup? Well, I think, uh, you know, if you look at the two teams and the quarterback and the backup situation, you know, 99 times out of 100 people choose – Elway as their quarterback over Kubiak, except, of course, for the J.J. route. So, you know, Denver seems to take more of a hit here because there are, you know, the number of people who will take Vlasic uh, over B.J. Tolliver just uh, from the start are, you know, it's, it's, it's higher. So if you're a Vlasic person, then it's, it's not a big, you know, you're, you're, you're happy as a clam to get the Chargers here. Um, but, you know, Denver without Elway is uh, somewhat... Uh, Somewhat nerfed. And just a message, you know, I saw some people not playing their games. No ducking. All right, let's get our games in, people. Give Troy a, give Troy a, a hand here and get your games in on time so you can get the keep things moving and rolling. All right. I, I, I should have brought the China flag out, I guess. Uh, North Korea, whatever. Pick your, take your pick there. So here comes Marion Butts on the weak side open run. Nice job here, zigging, zagging. Huge gain to start to the 49 on a first down. Yeah, so, I mean, like I said, on defense for, for Denver, it's pretty standard. Uh, you know, you're probably used to playing against uh, against Vlasic a lot. But for the San Diego defender, probably have to, don't have to respect the passing plays as much, I suppose, without the scrambles around. And around Anthony Miller, he's got the diver. Holy diver to the 15. And a first down after that run three was picked. And just too much field to cover for Eifert. Yeah, that was a nice arrow trick there. A lot of people, the arrow trick seems to be getting a bit more common these days. I'm seeing it a lot more. Knowledge is power, right? Yeah, I like seeing a lot of the you know newer players kind of adapting the winning strategies. And I've never been an arrow tricker myself, but it's uh, it's something that's very uh, effective if you can use it if you can use it correctly. Well, the QB sneak did not attack uh, Fletcher. Oh, nice cycle there to the RB two. He's got Ronnie Harmon for six, and Simple Simon takes the lead. Yeah, Ronnie Harmon, one of uh, Alpha TD's favorite guys. I think he uh, won a Ronnie Harmon starting lineup at the Kumite last year. Nice. <laughs> he was sort of like a, and he got laughed at by Fast Ed for that. So those two are like a regular uh, odd couple when they're in person and online. It so just nice first drive by uh, by Simple. I was hoping to maybe use him as a secondary receiver in HSTL draft. We were drafting linebacker with running back pairs. And uh, remind me, the uh, Gary Plummer. I was hoping to get Plummer, him with sure. Gary Plummer as uh, just a good drone hit power guy. Plummer is yeah. a guy that, you know, people generally get to the mid-late part of the draft, and whoever gets him is usually pretty excited about get, getting Plummer. There's there's always, like, a few people that get, are bummed out that when, when Plummer gets taken. That's I just love that power. about Tecmo. So redirect pass there before on first down. Bobby Humphrey. And... You see a lot of him up to the 20 yard line, you know, more speed on offense for Eifer. He's going to have the tap advantage here as well. Yeah, Eifer, one of the few remaining keyboard players. Although, so part of this tournament, uh, he agreed to not use uh, the keyboard tapping that he has on this. 
uh, that was part of the agreement. So he is he's he has to play with the controller. He has to not be utilizing the that particular. And he's on his honor. So. And we've got Jackson in the back of the end zone, but you know maybe Elway gets that there on time. John Elway would have made that throw. You know, Horseface is sitting on the sidelines talking it up. Actually, he's not on the sidelines at all. He's with Finkel and Einhorn, right? Uh, yes, yes. Loa Einhorn. Well, you know, maybe not reaching for the isotoners there because Kubiak gets it there, and six nothing. Yeah, fun fact about uh, where I work, the guy who, uh, kind of the custodian, uh, looks and sounds like Tone Loke, who of course had a role in the movie. <laughs> was he and the, then, was he know, that other detective? Yeah, he was, he was the, I don't know if he was a detective, he was always in the office scene, maybe he was a I can't remember, it's been forever since I've seen that movie. But the, uh, yeah, I want to ask you a few questions, guy. Right, night, night. <laughs> That's him, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Well, shotgun play as I take a sip of my yingling. Thank you to Hawkeye98 for the gift. So Classic this, scrambling around here. Look at this. This play here, this past three. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that man. Play, that play there gets, uh, I feel, is like one of the past plays. I don't know if it's past three in general or that past three. But when that past three is not called, I swear, like four or five guys are covered every time. Uh, whereas, like, the past two and the past four you see in this book, like, past two is notorious for leaving, like, two guys open. And past four, there's always somebody open. Uh, but the past three there, there's a lot of times that it gets called, or it, it doesn't get called, and, and you have just great drone coverage. So I like it as a play, but it suffers from uh, from that. So there's the pass to JJ up to Vance Johnson and a first down, first and goal from the six. Looks like, uh, is this is this your filter on here with the, the scan lines Yes. And Looks great. Gotta like get that retro the, feel, right? Like you're on a CRT, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I posted that thing about that, that Trinitron that was for sale. It was like five bucks for a 20-inch Trinitron. I was like, man. Probably nowhere near me, right? No, it was in, like, it was in Detroit. That's why I posted it in the Kumite page. And uh, But then it was it, you couldn't view it, so I, I'm wondering if... You know, it's sold pretty quickly. Speaking of viewing, we just viewed a touchdown for Bobby Humphrey on run one, 13 to 7. Now Eifert taking the lead. Yeah, gotta love that, getting that fumble. Um, and, you know, that was a run where Simon definitely could have gotten out of bounds at some point. And it's just something that, uh, you know, everyone needs to get better at is, is running out of bounds, giving up a yard or two uh, for the to eliminate the risk of, of, of turning the ball over. Rod Bernstein, one of the many sexual pun named players in this roster, gets out of bounds. First down and 10, 354 Tecmo time here in the second. Eifer up a touchdown. Yep. Rod out of bounds. Cox into the lineup. And Pickle going to be handing it off to Butts. Boy, you're right. There are just like sexual innuendos out the wazoo with the Chargers. Some might think they listen to an adult broadcast right now. In a way, they sort of are second down and five. Leaks that open has produce some success here for Simple Simon and uh, going with Fletcher and the redirect gets him the first down of the 31 yeah Fletcher's in a nice position uh, de uh, defensively it's pretty much the only real defensive advantage that uh, Denver has over San Diego I think most people prefer to play with San Diego's defense Denver is, is adequate though it's not great but it's not like indie level Tremendous dive there by Eifer on back-to-back -back run threes. And, well, let's see. Oh, going for the JJ over his head. Yeah, I don't think he had to do that there. He had three guys that were going to be open on that play. Yeah, I guess he just went for it. I, I have bad luck uh, on that, again, that, that hot route there. As player two, I feel like uh, not only does it overthrow a lot, but it happens Perfect a lot, punt. Oh, my God. It wow. happens a lot that the, the guy will dive instead of jump. For that uh, for that time JJ route, and it often re results in an interception. So, Eifer uh, from his own three here. I'm falling out of love with that play. We'll see how Eifer does with it here. Brew Dog is in love with that play. Yeah. And no one's in love with their quarterback right now because they can't hit the broadside of a bar in second down in ten for Eifer. Not sure how I enjoy being uh, on on camera these days, uh, Troy. I used to be able to do these, uh, you know, these uh, 
broadcast in my underwear. Uh. Or, or in my, uh, Did you my talk female. to Riddler or something? You guys, you guys, are you having a coup? In my female woman suit, female yeah. skin suit. You know. <laughs> Goodbye, horses. Attack more over you. Broncos, you have the horses. So, boy, if Eifer puts something on the board here, he's in complete command. He's already getting the ball at halftime. Wow, Civil Simon played some good defense. He's a player that has really stepped up in the last 12 months. It's been a while since I've been in a league with Simon. I'm only in, well, I'm in three leagues these days. Uh, only, huh? Been, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for some people, you talk to a guy like DPS. DPS, I think, is your resident um, guy who's just in every league at this point. What what league is? Uh, are you in DPS? What leagues? All of them. All of them. Yes, all the leagues. <laughs> Sounds like a Ron Swanson meme in the making. I think it might be fun to like invent a league. You know, it sort of doesn't exist and just like drop. Like, like like the coach mode says uh, national championships. Make it that some league exists and he wants to get in it. Just see if he tries to get into it. You know, <laughs> since it's just a phantom league. The coach league it would actually be kind of fun. It would be hard to keep interest, I think, but uh, I think it would be fun to do a coach league because uh, certain things, it, you know, how you draft the team, what what plays you choose, are all would all be different. It'd be a completely. Different I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to throw that out as a qualifier for Full Nelson. We're going to have a coach. <laughs> Tournament? Yeah, default. Well, you know, not, not you can move up guys everywhere, however you want to do them. Uh, but obviously, you got to call the matchups and um, and go from there. <laughs> Coach mode tournament. And we, we'll probably have some fun broadcasting that way too. I know from simming seasons that like you know teams with a bad quarterback, you know, because the computer will just throw into coverage all the time. So the teams that do better generally have the the better pass control quarterback. But if you're calling matchups, then of course you can. Uh, it's not like you're drafting teams in this idea. Anyway, so Simon needs to stop here to make this a game again. Humphrey out to. Let's see, was it the 17 there? 16. And I know uh, you said uh, checker, and I, I'm pretty sure this is true because I played a game like this. Checker is allowed, correct? Correct. Yep, that's a new development for us this year. Uh, with all of the, you know, in years past, we were going pretty much standard ROM, but we were just identifying teams that you could could or could not play with. Uh, and since last year, we started doing gameplay modifications and even ROM modifications, and we decided that keeping an eye on those players, if they're not skill position, just makes sense to allow that. And especially since most online players are doing it now anyway, so it's really hard to police. Um, and so it encourages people to get on that and it's a free download for everyone so pick plays here Ooh, gary Plummer. we just spoke of him before he gets a drone sack second down and 19 for eifer up by seven right now cross field uh -oh. to steve uh -oh. sewell uh -oh. but it's knocked down by vency glenn third down in 19 a nice play by glenn the late the late trailer That can be. Once well, Jackson, he's on the back of the end zone here. Well, close to it. Maybe he's in. Oh, what is this? I don't this like is this strange. I know you're kind of in no man's land, but you've been playing good defense most of the game. And with seven minutes to go, even if uh, you know you give up a touchdown, there's not going to be a whole lot of time left. You probably have a chance to hold for last possession. Wants Mark Jackson, and knocked down. Was that uh, Bayless? bottom there and uh, knocks it down first down and 10 for simple Simon uh, yeah if it was like early fourth quarter I would have definitely been uh, more on board with that call to go for it Quinn early the intended target JJ in the end zone just like that simple Simon responds and uh, that one did not work out for Eifer at all no but sometimes <laughs> yeah it's, uh, sometimes good decisions go poorly Sometimes bad decisions go poorly, and I think that's what we had there. Well, Eifer's still in the driver's seat despite that shit show there. And Samuel Wider will take this kick out of his end zone. How's Finkel been doing on the uh, field goals? Have you had uh, We've any, had a mix. Uh... We've had a mix. <laughs> now, I, those are only the games that I've recorded so far. 
Um, this is going to be one of the last ones I do record in the order that they're played. Remains to be seen. Gotcha. Picked run three here. Bird on defense, second down and 12. Of course, that's the most dangerous play when you have 63 MS running backs. Back, back to it. So don't be surprised these days. I see a lot of trending of just sitting on run three back to back if it gets picked. You think your opponent moves off of it, boom, goes right back to it and makes you pay. Yeah, it's a nice play in third and long, too. You know, it's a, someone calls a pass and you can get a big gainer. That's obviously pretty common knowledge at this point. Oop. Oh, Vance Johnson right over the top. Yeah. And welcome to the fourth quarter of Title 14. Do you think you'll incorporate the checker at all into your broadcasts? Uh, eventually. Um, right now, I have this thing that I paid for that you're all looking at. And uh, I'm not sure how to make it look pretty on there. Sure. To the 30, second down and eight. I, I do incorporate it on HSTL um, when at least I report what's, what's going on. Have you been doing something like that with the uh, Heroes you're League? You're doing G League, this, right? Yes, I'm oh, in G League. Uh, so, so Heroes, I don't use my camera. Well, here's a nice run by Humphrey into the end zone. So Heifer takes the lead back. Um, but, yeah, I'm in G League, 12-4. and four. I have the number one seed in the AFC. Um, I think it's my team. I've it's built the way I want it. That's some of the fun of, of that is that you're able to hopefully identify talent that fits your play style. Yeah, it's fun to draft your own team, uh, except when, of course, it goes terribly wrong. <laughs> Well, the injury thing, you know, you get all your cards and um, Marion Butts right now, and when he gets hurt, it it hurts me badly. So to the back to this though, to the 19 yard line, simple Simon, plenty of time to respond here. And you can toggle back and forth in between the two QB twos. Um, we we did this intentionally so people didn't accidentally put their QB one in the game and get disqualified. Uh, that was the the main thing. You could have done a real deep research dive and put the QB3 on every team and just made them... Uh, get, we could have seen Eric Kramer show up for the Lions. Uh, I would have loved to see uh, like was the main guy Bobby Hebert or something in there. <laughs> yeah. Blair Keel for the Packers. <laughs> I think he passed away. That passed away right there. <laughs> You're not kidding. That was terrible. Nice job. Second down and Ted here from Vlasic. I don't know if he's just going to go with the bombs. Yeah. It's not speedball here. Nice, uh, Hannibal nice, ball. Nice yeah, really. But, you know, maybe he's just trying to catch him off guard, you know, calling runs. Pass one, Vlasic. He's kind of pulling an Odell there, hanging around near the line of scrimmage. And nice completion of butts. Underneath the coverage and a first down. Yeah, surprised that Eifer left that guy open. He was the only uncovered, uncovered player, but he must have thought he was launched deep. Fletcher tried to chase after Butts near the marker and a first down. So nice redirect there by Simple Simon. Yeah, so some of these runs, just running around can help. Sometimes you can uh, get the man defender get caught by a drone. Ooh. You know, he, if he had that, if the redirect didn't happen there, that auto-diver may have led to a huge gain, maybe even a score. But instead, the redirect puts him into double coverage, and luckily he drops incomplete. Going over the top once, Anthony Miller underneath the coverage. And he's going to let him score, but he's going <laughs> to take his time about it. So Eifer now in the driver's seat, but Simple Simon responds, and it's about to be 21-all. Yeah. So that again, you know, with the way he went for it with two minutes to go in the third quarter, he could have been just driving to win the game if he had just punted. But uh, he's still got a little bit of time here, so uh, maybe it'll work out. I did want to mention in one of the broadcasts uh, that Finkel did miss an extra point. Oh, no, really? Yes, uh, I don't know if, uh, again, with me splicing everything together, if it made the cut. 
there were a couple broadcasts that we had some difficulties on or so, just for I mean, whatever reason it, we chose not to put it in just to keep the the broadcast uh concise yeah the worst kicker ability is 19 on the ROM, in the normal rom mm -hmm. okay and finkel is 13 correct so it's basically lansford and bad Oh, gotcha. So I've never seen Lansford like miss a few, miss an extra point without, of course, you know the uh, the guy being grappled. So I don't know if that's ever happened to anybody in a real game. You know, uh, I've missed with Lansford and I've missed with Bar. Really? Extra point? Yes. Were you being grappled by the? I don't remember. Okay, because that's when I've definitely seen it happen. And that would make with, sense with any with any with any kicker. I think that can happen, but yeah, it's interesting that Finkel can just miss. He can't just double tap and and get a for sure. Oh, the ru rushing in here at last play of the game. Oh, he's got him. Uh oh, he's got Humphrey. Ah. Well, Neil's got to come back. Oh, and, and it's Humphrey. Ooh, man. Zigging, zagging. Uh, I think he's gonna Neil. make it. He's gonna make it. He it made it. Touchdown. Iver closes it out. Simple Simon. <laughs> Rushing in, you know you gotta like your chances with these DBs against that quarterback. Yeah, I hindsight, mean, sometimes but you don't get the coverage that you you know you call a play and then they leave the guy uncovered. You know it's just frustrating. Uh, but then you could be damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you don't blitz, you know he's gonna get the, the JJ attempt. Um, Bobby Humphrey hitting the score sheet twice. For the leading uh, receiver and the leading uh, rusher here in this contest. Yeah, but I think we've all been on both ends of that, you know, where you blitz and you lose, and then you don't blitz and you lose. And so, you know, you could say, like, oh, he should have done this, he should have done that. But, uh, you know, it just uh, it just didn't work out. Although you can, you know, if you see that that guy's uncovered right at the snap, maybe if you are able to notice that, then call off the blitz and go back and, and defend. But it may not have mattered. So it was a fun game to watch there, and uh, you know, uh, Eifer got away with his his bad decision at the end of the towards the end of the third quarter. It, it did come back to burn him. Well, excellent game, guys. Excellent call from you, Tooley. Uh, a little more relaxed as far as just the uh, the banter here. When I get too overly announcey for you, but uh, it's always been a, a pleasure calling games with you. And if you guys are out there, if you love Tooley, go ahead and let him know he runs the Kumite. And I'm sure that there'll be details for next year, uh, next year doing that. So, um, rocking and rolling, guys. We'll get you another game here right after this. Hey, you'll get round trip airfare and tickets to a game, a complete uniform, and a chance to meet me. Stay tuned. I'll have details on how to enter, and we'll be announcing a winner later tonight. Did not flub at all. No, it wasn't a flub. It was there was no flub. fucking flub. flub but, it was uh, not a flub. Uh, you, you want to see that play back? No, see come on. Let's do it. Do it. Fuck it. Take three, 25 second version, and action. Hi, I'm Dan Marino from the Miami Dolphins. Welcome to Visa NFL Quarterback Club Week on I hope you've enjoyed your Thanksgiving day. We have more NFL action on this Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. But tonight, you'll get a chance to be my backup quarterback for a day. You'll get round trip, airfare, and tickets to a game, a complete uniform, and a chance to meet me. Stay tuned. I'll have details on how to enter, and we'll be announcing a winner later tonight. Perfect. Fuck it. Send it in. Nope. I don't want to see shit. Greetings, Tech Bowl Super Bowl fans. This is Trojan 1979. We have another uh, round one game, Finkel and Einhorn. And uh, we have DeRiddler here with me. So, fan favorite, great to have you back on the broadcast. How you been? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me on, Trojan. Oh, this is fantastic, man. It's been far too long. Um, and I, I just hope that uh, uh, we can continue to broadcast like we have been. Uh, it's been quite the journey here, fifth uh, annual tournament. And uh, this, this format has been um, pretty well received so far with the, the theme, Finkel and Einhorn. Of course, we have uh, two... Uh, bad QB twos in the mix, and then you got a really bad kicker. Changes the value of these teams a little bit because you don't have Warren Moon to play with. Uh, but the quarterback situation for the Bears is not really affected by this matchup. Yeah, it's a it's a very creative uh, theme here. Like the kicking situation, you're not going to want to kick anything probably longer than from your own 35, or it's going to be it's going to be flying up and down. Uh, the Bears are not really affected by this too much. 
The Oilers still had their sweet receivers, but now you only have the commander, Cody Carlson. <laughs> I love it. Commander. Sorry. Uh, Order 66, I guess. Uh, we'll see if he can uh, make that happen. They do kind of have that stormtrooper trooper look in their uniforms. So uh, Houston, Houston Oilers, Chicago Bears, Trojan, Deriller, Scotty Weggs, and uh, maybe I should spell his name correctly. Do you think he'd appreciate that? Is it two G's there? W A G S. I don't think there's a W in there. Oh, no. Yeah, I think it's one <laughs> G for him. Keeping it professional up here on the Retro Sports Gamer channel. By the way, if you haven't yet, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, where can fans find you over on Twitch? Um, um, the Riddler. The Riddler 85, I believe, is what it is. And uh, we can uh, when this broadcast live, we'll have the live chat replay. We can we can splash a link in there too, and uh, check the description as well. We'll try to get those uh, those links in there as well. So uh, let's get to it. Oilers, Bears. All right. So I think I played the Mac in. The um, Thunderdome, sorry, and it did not do too well. <laughs> I'll just leave it that way. Yeah, uh, the Mac is uh, he's a precision player. A fumble. I'll fumble early. Rut roll. Oh, he's out of bounds. Oh, the Bears. huge play for the Mac. Trace that was Scotty Wag. Needs. In the end zone, the Mac with the early. I guess uh, the sacrifice has been rewarded. Whatever he did prior. Because uh, the Mac is up six nothing. Man, the very small trace of life already for Scotty Wags after Trace Armstrong puts it into the end zone. Seven nothing, your score. Scotty Wags just have to brush that one off. Try to get out of bounds next time. Yeah, if you don't really have an opportunity to return it with a slow returner, just get a few yards, get out of bounds. He's also got Lorenzo White in there. No fear, by Scotty Wags. He's no Borenzo, that's for sure. We got a pick play, so great force oh. here early. Going Throws it up for grabs oh, again. Oh, yep. Jump pick the Mac. You yeah, that was not the way. Was... Lauren Moon. That was not where you wanted to throw that ball when you have a quarterback get jump picked by almost the entire secondary. And a running directly at Johnson, man. Scotty Wiggs just in a bad way. Tap, 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 and a first down for the Mac. That is one thing. We got two of the slower tappers in Tecmo. Uh, right now in the Mac and Scotty Wags here. Tom's that keeping it on the ground does not let it go. Johnson was nearby, second down of five. This time out of the shotgun. Tom's that going oh, over got the it. top. Oh, we picked we have off. A pick by Richard Johnson. Man, both of these guys are not playing the way that you need to play with these quarterbacks. No, they are not. Captain Checkdown. If I if I was in this matchup. And we got Lorenzo Wine to the sweep. Let's see if he's got Butterball going on. No, nice run. Nine yards, second and one. Often ball control is pretty much a worthless stat for the differences, but when you're talking 19 ball control, that is a significant difference, um, especially in comparison to Pinkett, who would have like 88 ball control. Wesley getting out of bounds. Does Scotty Wicks with Lorenzo White back to White. Isolation tap here. Carrier is there. No gain. Second and ten. A massive seven to four. <laughs> Rico and ones are just looking their chops right now. If ones was playing Tecmo right now. <laughs> but regulators I, in this tournament, third down and six. I think you could uh, out tap that with your elbow. Challenge accepted. There you go. Now you got what you want. Now he rolled the wrong direction. Throwing it up for grabs again. He's got they the got this time. Here he goes. Ten, five in the end zone. Touchdown here with Jeffries and Scotty Weggs. About to tie this one up. Here's what really scared me when he that's why I said that when he threw that. Because Jeffries is going to be faster than the DB. So the DB would be behind him, but the DB has a 69 interception in stints in that the drone might jump up and get another pick. So but it, it worked out that time. The receiver was in front of the DB. And we got ourselves a 7-7 ball game. Well, let's hopefully for both these guys' sakes, they got the uh Oh, yeah, we can't just chuck it up against these secondaries out of their system and go back to smart Tecmo. First down and 10 for the Mac. 
from the 16-yard line, shotgun formation. Tom Zag. Going over the top to Johnny Bailey. He's got him in stride, got 40, him. 35. And out of bounds here, the 34-yard line, first down and 10 in the second quarter at 7-7. Seven, seven. You, you can tell Wags has been calling run already early. Both of those plays, he had four guys wide wide open on both those deep tosses. Dick Deck was able to get back on the first one, but not this time. Another run called. Second down and four. Nice scramble there. We have a Tom Zach and an Anderson and good. And of course, you can toggle back and forth between the two QB2s that are on your roster. Play conditions, hopefully. The Tecmo Gods are in your favor. Second down of four. Top hash mark, single back. Johnson across the formation, running directly at him with run one. And yeah, the doppelganger, Tom, Tom Zach was in good condition. And that's going to be a touchdown by Neil Anderson. An eight to four tap off. Ladies. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you guys are going to work on that, man. Oh, are you guys both married? Uh <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is, you know, you can either tap or you can't. So, you know, there's only so much that you can do. You can't try to do things. But what you have to do is realize that you can't tap and you can't commit without your drones being around. And we haven't seen that adjustment so far here. So the run one and the pass over the top to Bailey have been quite effective for the Mac so far. And uh, a couple of Carlsons will do you. Checking out what... He has to work with McNeil. Now, condition checker is permitted in this tournament. Uh, we don't have that up on display for you right now. Uh, just we prefer the layout that we've been using, but the players are permitted to use that. So uh, that will affect uh, how some of these players uh, choose certain defenders. So if you're ever wondering why they may go to a, maybe a not commonly used manable defender, that's probably why. Called play. Commander, he's going to get out of it. Nice play to make that turning into something second down and 10 here for scotty wegg is minimizing the loss on that play yeah uh, that would have been a play that i probably would not have used just for the fact that taking stinson or carrier you're never going to be able to throw the hot route for that play um, i'm pretty effective with the offset pass too as well it's not quite as big of a play but i can call that without having fear of it getting called there we go, Cody, Cody Carlson going up again. Well, it's Drew. Scott the diver. Ooh, Got the it. Diver. And a first down for Scotty Weggs. And because of it was a diver, the uh, interception numbers did not go into effect there. The What is super frustrating to people when they have a big interception guy, and like, how did he catch that? Oh, the, the old diver. So trying to tap into the max playbook going with the run one there but little white not doing as much damage second down and eight on the play here's the run three lorenzo white and near the marker just short third down and one now big play call bottom hash mark Carl i don't like him center. taking single carry did not like that Run three, just gets past the marker, and a first and goal for Scotty Weggs. If you're trying to stop that, just take the DB2 and then try to get him behind him because there's not a play that Singletary is going to be able to stop unless it's a pass there. Any of the runs, even to the run to the top, he would have got a yard. Carlson on the run four. Up to Lorenzo White, and it's a touchdown for Scotty Weggs. Smash mouth, Lorenzo White. Lorenzo White. <laughs> <laughs> the way he's running him, I thought he might be Bo Renzo in there. Well, Bo Renzo White lives on in the Tech with Heroes League. For those of you that were a big fan of that, if, uh, if you played last year's tournament, that might have been the best week theme during the regular season phase. So here comes Muster, tap, tap, and there were a bunch of blockers to help him out there, but couldn't quite get there in time, and now he takes over from his, say, 13-yard line. As a personal favor of the no get out of bounds, I thought that was an interesting one. That was a very hot and cold. It was almost like a, a political party. <laughs> uh oh. Against it. There we go. Big run there. Look at the time, though. Oh my it's gosh. So, field goal. Huge run. Oh there. no. We're going to see Ray Finkel possibly. 13 seconds. Maybe another run three. I'll just end the run one. Get that top hash mark. Oh, boy. 
Lace is out, go. man. Not really much of a threat to block it, though. Low. Oh, blow. It's too low. Off the post. Not even. Not even. Now you get a Hail Mary opportunity. What do you know about pressure? That was a bad kick, but it's a bad kicker. And now we have a chance, like you said, from uh, Scotty Weggs here to close it out. So he the didn't rush pass, it, though. Pass four. It's going to go up to Ernest Givens. You can get a JJ. Oh, it's JJ There's pick. The J well, there, there was a JJ, uh, technically. Dano Wolford locking down. And uh, welcome to the second half. It's 14 all Trojan with Deriddler. Richard Sports Game yeah. Channel. Loving it here. We're 14-14 here. I don't think either one of these guys have been too pleased with their play. They're usually better players than this, but... Uh, you know, it might be throwing them off here with these back quarterbacks and whatnot. Uh, it's certainly an adjustment. And for those that have played in leagues like HSTL, you figure out real quick what you can function with and what you can't. I myself am a mediocre to poor quarterback guy in lieu of other players, but not everyone's comfortable with that. Yeah, so if we're totally different styles. Like, I'll like to throw it all over the yard and run like shit. You run great and think you throw like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Only as player two. There you go. Go, Neil Anderson. Oh, but he's having a game, man, on the 24-yard line. First down for the Mac. Yeah, he's been doing a great job with him. Out of the pro, oh, pro set, sweep down. He's still getting yards. Call play, don't give an F. Second down or nine. I have noticed that when that play gets called that you can run straight across because everybody's flowing down to the sweep, all the drones. Good Tom Zach with the 19 MS getting the good scramble and a first down. So what we've seen is Mac has started to adjust that he's pretty much going to run it either with a running back or Tom Zach. He hasn't thrown it much since the beginning of the game. There he goes again. He's uh, if he calls run, then he's going to be able to use a deep guy as a decoy to pick up some yardage. And if he's calling pass, hopefully he can get some yards on the run. It looks like. Wow, the blocker gave up. On oh, nice Chris. run. That was wow. beautiful. That was beautiful. That was online Juke City. Pass a 35 and a first down for the Mac, who was just setting a career day here for Neil Anderson. There you go. There's that run again. Tom Zach. Yep, there he goes. Scramble. I would have baited him. Bait him. Make, start running up. Make him try to throw it over the top. See if you can get another jump pick. Childress, pick play. Job by Wags. Third down and eight. Out of the shotgun. A little more. Here we go again. Here. here he goes again. And oh, that's see, that's what I was talking about. Oh man, he didn't oh. see him. It was uh, kind of a flicker city there. And uh, fourth down and eight coming now for the Mac. And uh, we're gonna see Finkel again. No hesitation. He went for it. Wow. Everyone, everyone take Childress, take Childress and make him reverse it. Oh, man. Can't get the block that Anderson way. Doing exactly what he wants. Got Parker. it! Here's the measurement. And he's got it first down the Mac. Man, I tell you, he, he's kind of got like a paper rock scissors thing going on right now, and it's working for him. That's what you're going to do. Grind it out over here. I don't like this call. You're not going to get – oh, he got more out of it than I thought. The only problem is quarterbacks fumble so freaking much, you know. I like to use it to get a first down, but I thought he was going to get three yards, but no, he ended I up picking up that stuff. So. He's been going at Childress. Um, and gotcha. He had the, the, the Bears offensive line there. It worked out well for him. There you go again. See, I like I like what, how Mac is adjusted here. So Muster yep. at the wide receiver, too, has been uh, doing a great job blocking down there. And uh, Scott Thornton as a lead blocker right now for Anderson. Mark Green. Mark Green must be in good condition. That's the only reason he would touch the field. First and goal from the nine for the Mac. All tied up here, 14-0, 121 tackle time in reverse third. Tap, oh, tap off. off. And Childress gets the tap, second and eight. Uh, Skywag's been sandbagging. He threw up a nine that time and got him. <laughs> Beat his four. 
Love you, Scotty. And this is what he should have done before, like you mentioned. Yep. Chasing after Anderson. There, would have held him about six yards, yep. He needed eight. And I don't think you can get away with it on this play if he goes back to it. So now we've got pass three probably coming here. Sorry, this is pass four. There you go. You got him. Fourth and two. Fourth and two. Got to go for it, don't you? Well, no one stopped one another, surprisingly, um, with the exception of the early jump picks. I think you go for it because then you got him backed up and, you know, can maybe force a three and out or worse. Back to pass. There you go. Four. He's running the opposite side. Should of the be a touchdown. Back. Throwing it to Green. He's got him. Touchdown the Mac. Yep. He takes the lead. Great call. I love that. I love calling that on the goal line, you know, because uh, if you get that wide receiver two open, it's really hard to stop both of them. If he gets covered up, um, you can get the – Run, uh, wide receiver, uh, running back two, I'm sorry, up top. But he might have been a little deep there, so. He got what he wanted, though, and it worked out. All right, here comes Ernest Givens out of the end zone who fumbled on the opening possession to the 12-yard line. Welcome to the fourth quarter, 21-14. Mack over Scotty Weggs, who now has five minutes of techno time to tie this game up. Trojan with Derriller here on the Retro Sports Gamer channel. Glad you're with us. Throwing up the fours, it's fourth quarter. Uh-oh, how's his doppelganger? We we will never know. This is the only downside to not having the condition checker up. Should have it up on the side maybe for you, just in case so we could see something, if there was something big. I don't know if it would show up on your layout, though. I don't want to mess that up, you know? No, I, I paid money for that, believe it or not. <laughs> All right, Here we so go. Here goes run two to Low White. Oh, it looks like Carrier's on his back. Low White opportunity if he can zigzag. Uh, oh, and he gets out of bounds. I think a little premature. I think he was a little tentative there. Maybe maybe didn't want to. Uh, maybe he wants to burn more clock. We'll see. Yeah. He did have some drones following him. Maybe he just got a little nervous. He does have Low White. No gain there on first down, second down and 10. Another pick play. Look out. Trouble. Rot roll. Trouble. Oh, oh we got no away interception with it. on Givens there. Third down and 10. Another pick Another play. Another called play. Letting it go. Going up again. In. Oh, boy. oh, man. I thought this should be pick city for sure. Yeah, triple coverage. I think they knocked, they ran into each other. What does Commander Carlson call here? Order 66, naturally. Uh-oh. He's going to have to throw it up. No! Everybody saw him standing there. Well, this is all you, Mac, unless you uh, cough it up. Well, Scotty Weggs needing a stop here. Can't give up any points. Well, we do have, uh, we do have the... Uh, Einhorn uh, Finkel thing going on here, and, and Finkel could miss a kick. So if you keep him out of the end zone, 13 kicker, man. You never know. Could be a six, even if they're in bad. Oh, Bozo the Clown's in. Cat Bozo with the nearly indefensible slant play from the original Tech Bowl. First down and 10 here for the Mac. And here comes pass one. Tom Zach just scrambling again, running clock. Taking no risk, it's nine yards on first down. It'll be second and one. Very smart play there by Mac. Out of the shotgun. Pass three. Uh oh, here's play. a chance. That's Cross a pick chance. And they got it. Intercepted by Dick Dick. You gotta just eat bounds. that. Just eat it. Oh no, tragedy has happened. Going for the diver. Carl said rolling. And uh, I'm surprised he didn't take the uh, cross field pass to wide receiver two there. It seemed like he had some separation. Yeah, you have to know where to go. I, so many guys I, I hear talk about 
you know, him overthrowing and this and that. You have to know the angle of where to throw that, or they'll often sail it too far ahead. And so maybe that's what he was thinking. Well, third down and six here with just over two and a half minutes of Tecmo time remaining. Pass four is the incoming play. And now there you go. Got too many drones. Oh, away, wow. Past the marker and taken down in bounds past the 25 yard line. First down when he for Scotty Weggs. When he rolled down, there was three drones standing there. I thought, you know, with Chicago's speed, he was going to be in trouble. But Carlson. Shot block. Ooh, you're the marker. I think he is a little short. Yes, uh, second and one. Lorenzo continues to tote the rock successfully. Right up the middle, man. Not giving any Fs with low white. Zero Fs to give. He's a low rider. Take it easy. Still in your singing gig. You like that? You should, man. I'm, I'm done. Hanging it up. <laughs> Pass one. He's got Oh, here we go. Here we go. No. Oh, just no. Make the shot. Gonna... You got to let him go downfield and dump it off. Or see if you can catch him peeking. Pass one. Good coverage. There you go. Running back one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, with Singletary, I'm like, that better not be a uh, carrier. Yep. 57 seconds. He's starting to run out of time here. It's going to be old heave ho. There's an opportunity if you want to do it. Oh, he had a chance. He got him. He's got him. Yeah, oh, hashtag. Chaps don't matter. Trojan, right there, you tie the game up. <laughs> Run three, seconds. isolation time. Low white and still not put on the ground, second and seven. Or second and goal from the seven. seconds. Got two plays, probably. Oh, this thing Going to low white again. Low He's a low rider. Low rider. MVP. It's the we'll white stuff, I don't know if he's going to baby. Not, but my goodness. Might be looking at overtime here. Yeah, unless there's a kick return. What if Finkel accidentally onside kicks it? Well, and then Anderson, huh. Anderson houses it. All right. Muster Buster should not try to return this one. Well, what are you doing? Get out of bounds. Gets a popcorn going. I guess you know, hit the right idea there. But I, you know, I don't. It's, it's been too kind of, slow. You don't trust the. Uh, I mean, there's been some defense in this game. It's all the JJ pick has been everything. But it looks like Scotty Wags, after tying this thing up, is going to get the ball back. Yeah, uh, I think both guys have kind of settled down from throwing it deep, and that's helped them out quite a bit. Gibbons to the ten. And taking over here in overtime is Scotty Weggs. First score wins. I got a bad feeling that Low White is due for fumble. He's taking about 12 tackles and bounds. Carlson. Scrambling. Eight yards. He got hit on that he got hit on that shoulder. I don't know. This kid come into play here. I saw him shaking it off. Oh no. Told you he was scared to throw it. His shoulder was still hurting him. Michael Singletary with the drone sack, third and six. Huge play here. Another, pick Another call here. play. Throws it up. And not intercepted. Got to go for it. No, don't give him the ball. You got to keep it in your own hands. Wow, the Bears just getting in like nobody's business there on that. Wow. You know, Bears have ended their hibernation. They're ready to eat. Time for them to bear down and take a shit on Scotty Weggs here in overtime. 308 <laughs> remaining. Uh, what do you, you got? Hold on, you hold on to that line. That was a good one. What do you got left in the tank here, Wags? Reverse. There you go. That's the way I would have played it right there. Yep. Oh! oh, out of bounds. Souvenir. Second down. Good thing seven. he's been following Hardy Nickerson's uh, play style that nobody else does, and he runs along the sidelines. That's an inside joke. <laughs> okay. Anderson gets the popcorn and gets away to the 33-yard line and a first down. 
I'll probably give you an angry DM, but that's okay. I'm used to those things. Oh, wow. Tap off. He got him. Yes, he did. Ask him about Vinny effing Testaverde. The anniversary of that just took place. <laughs> oh, boy. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he was still going to have the cursor. You know what I mean? The shake off the defender and then throw a deep move. Yep. Well, here we go. Three here, really important Needs to call his play. Needs to call it. And he, calls he does. It. He calls it. Oh, wow, he's up. risking it. Going up to Terry Kennard. Oh. Living on a prayer. And, now four, three, and he three. says, I won't punt. I'm going for the win. This is uh, the horns, but uh, the the game would Go not end if it. it would tie. They would just he would get the ball back. Um, oh, Anderson. he's got a chance! Oh, he got he him! Stopped. He stopped! He stopped! Oh my goodness! Oh my! We know we want it to come down to Finkel. We want it to. It's what the people want. It's about redemption. People love a good redemption story. Singletary cross the formation isolation. Oh, Lil White! Ooh, that was carry number 13 in my book. I, mean, I don't know. I'm just I mean, guessing. You, ahead, you know, if you, as soon as you put in, like, I don't know, Doug Lloyd, he puts it on the ground or something. Yeah. Oh, whoever's down there just felt the wrath of Samurai <laughs> Mike, third down and three. I want winners. Oh, well, guys, want I want to win. win. <laughs> Here he goes again. Samurai Mike gets popped. Oh, white. in the back, low white for the first down. Man, oh man, just the number of times Lil White is getting tackled in bounds with is is crazy. He's got him again in the middle of the oh field. Oh my god, here he goes to the 12 yard line. 26 seconds. This is like a bad viral internet video. Get out of bounds! Oh my god! Are you kidding? Come on! Call a timeout, make him run another play! Alright, here we go. It comes down to you, Finkel. Take Singletary. Take Singletary. No! Singletary. Straight cross. He's in! What? Oh no, he got it through! He gave him a kiss and it didn't matter. It's in! Scotty Wiggs! Scotty Wiggs! Scotty Wiggs! Scotty Wiggs! Ray Finkel! Woo! Ray Finkel! And that is your ball game. 21 carries for Low Rider. Oh my god. He what had the no white fumble. stuff. Tecmo fixed this game, and, and let's get some respect to Lorenzo White, who ever, almost never makes the field unless he's, like, catching a ball. Um, and he's the MVP in this thing. I, I know I know that Rick yes. Finkel has a redemption story here for a game winner. But Lorenzo White, 21 for a 106, holding on to the Five ball. Five yards a pop. Five doing yards a pop. Doing his job. That's that's what happened there. So, Oh my goodness, man! This is fun. To, this is a good one to break the season in with. That was a good one, yeah. Woo. Overtime and low white. I mean, you just don't see that every day. Scotty Wags going unorthodox. Oh man, oh man. Well, guys, I hope you like that in chat. Uh, hopefully, you're having fun with that. Um, uh, I appreciate everyone watching this week. Uh, Deriller closing out the week with us. Uh, so for Deriller, this is Trojan. And hang tight for next week for the Hollow Man. Yes, you're going to see a lot of frustrated Tecmo players trying to figure out how to identify a target they can't see when he's carrying the ball. So, Hollow Man next week. Stay tuned for the the announcement. When we're going to go ahead and post that uh, scheduled broadcast time, but it's live. They're they're playing it right now. So, for the Riddler Trojan signing out. Thanks for watching the Retro Sports Gamer Channel. We'll catch you next time.